Hello everybody, my name is Megan and I'm a member of the Wagtail core team. I'm here to give you a quick tour of Wagtail 7.0, which is the newest release of Wagtail. Real quick, just in case you happen to be new to Wagtail or you're curious about Wagtail, I'm going to give you a little bit of an orientation here. Uh, if you're a veteran, please just have some patience. I promise we'll get to the new stuff super quick. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and show y'all that this is the dashboard that you see when you first log into a Wagtail website. Uh, it has the user information up here and also has some basic information about all the pages on the web page. Has a little search bar here so that you can go ahead and find things. And then also there's some content on the dashboard. Usually it has like your workflow items. If you have a workflow action that's required to do, that would be in there. And I don't have any right now, which is why you don't see any. But I definitely have made some recent edits, so that's why this is showing up here. And also there's usually a list of the locked pages that you have access to. As an admin on this website, I have access to pretty much all of them. Uh, so those are like the key things that you'll find on your dashboard when you log in. And right over here on our sidebar, which you can make smaller or larger, you know, according to your preferences, we have uh, pretty much what you can find in most content management systems. Uh, so right here is where all the pages in Wagtail live, and you can drill down to a particular type of page here and the page listing. And so I usually love to show off latest chirps, which is our blog here. And I can access that by clicking here, or I can also click this arrow over here to take me to the listing uh, with all of the different blog pages that we have here. But we also have on wagtail.org a specialized section for packages. Uh, but there are other things that you are probably, if you are familiar with content publishing, there are other things that are definitely very familiar. Like right here, images is where the image library lives. And then also we have media where most of the videos live and documents like PDFs and things like that. And then snippets uh, are where we have like pieces of reusable code that show up all across the website. Like for example, uh, we put the blog authors here and we manage them in this area uh, so that that information can be used on different pages if we want it to. Um, we currently don't want it to, but it's, it's very useful. And Wagtail also comes with some standard reports that you can use. And it also has a bunch of different settings uh, for managing permissions. And you can also set up workflows, which are very useful. Uh, for example, if you have an editing workflow, like you need somebody to approve something before it gets published, workflows are great for managing that. Uh, we also have settings for sites and settings for collections, which you can use to organize photographs and uh, documents and other things on the website, handling redirects, search results, some navigation settings. And then also uh, very important is our little help section here, which has some useful information as well as the keyboard shortcuts that you can use in Wagtail uh, as well. And so that's a quick tour of our sidebar. Oh, one other thing, very important, uh, the account area, uh, definitely very important because a lot of our settings, like, you know, if you wanna change from light mode to dark mode and things like that, you definitely wanna play around with your account settings to make Wagtail as comfortable as possible. Anyway, that's a quick orientation of Wagtail for y'all if you happen to be new. I'm going to go ahead and head back to our blog page here uh, so that we can go ahead and show you what's new in here. And I'm going to go ahead and so this is like for the index page right here. I'm going to create what's called a child page within the index page, which is basically a new blog post. So I'm going to go up here and hit child page. And right here uh, we have a brand new page. And I'm gonna kind of show you what's different by actually going to what's live right now on wagtail.org first. So let me go ahead and head over to the page that we have live. Like, so this is this is the actual wagtail.org. We're still running an older version on it. And let me kind of show you as a writer kind of uh, one of the things that makes me most excited about Wagtail 7. Uh, so in the older versions of Wagtail, I often would have to put in, like whenever I wanted to create 
a new awesome blog post. Um, pretty much what I would have to do if I wanted to save a draft is I'd have to go through and save information on all of these mandatory fields here. So I'd like, you know, I'd have to put a placeholder date in if I didn't know when it was going to be published. I would almost always put something in the introduction like change me uh, if I didn't know what I wanted to write there right away so that I can remind myself to put it there. Um, and as you can see, like I have our preview window over here, uh, which if you're new to Wagtail, it's a very useful feature, uh, but it's not so useful in this older version because the preview will not show up until all of the required fields are there. And so I'm opening up stream field here, which is the main body of a blog. And you can use it to like mix and match different pieces uh, according to the type of content you're building. So like I can add headings, I can add paragraphs. On wagtail.org, we have blocks that we've created for block quotes and documents and code blocks. And also uh, we use CTA options as well within our stream field. Like we have different types of CTAs. Uh, those are calls to action for anybody who is not in marketing. That's what a CTA is. And so I have all these different options that I can use to build uh, my content here. And since I have no idea what I want to do yet or what I want to write yet, like I'm a writer, I just want to write something. I usually throw a paragraph block down first and then I type like placeholder sentence. Um, or I just start writing my blog at this point and then I worry about all the other stuff later. Um, but now you'll see over here on the right hand side of my page that the preview is now working um, because I had to fill out all this like filler information in order for it to work, uh, which honestly was a bit annoying as a writer. Um, and I had to do the same thing if I wanted to save a draft. I just couldn't save things uh, with without having something in there. And I have, you know, honestly, for the blog post on Wagtail 7, I put in the wrong date because it was a placeholder date. And I didn't catch it when I went to publish it. So I actually had a friend reach out to me and be like, hey, uh, is this the right date? Uh, it's a little too far in the future. <laughs> Um, so, you know, it like even though these mandatory fields are great at making sure you don't forget critical information, sometimes they can force you to like put the wrong information in when you're doing a draft. And that's not so great. Uh, so let's go back to Wagtail 7, the version with Wagtail 7. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring the preview window back up here. And you'll notice that right away it already has something, even though I haven't filled out anything in this blank blog page yet. The preview is already working. And so, you know, if I type something here like my new awesome blog, you know, the preview will go ahead and respond and start adding stuff. And, you know, as long as there's some sort of title in place, that's all that you need to save a draft. So if you're the type of person who like, you know, comes up with titles first before you write, this is great news because you can now say drafts with just titles and without all this other information in here, like, you know, so I can go ahead and click save. And now my draft is, you know, a draft uh, and I don't have to, have everything ready like it's you know it actually allows me to have a rough rough draft instead of uh, forcing me to put like some sort of fake structure into it uh, so this is much better for the way that most creative people work uh, because you can build things up but here's the key thing if i were to try and publish this and this is not actually live on wagtail.org. So trust me, it'll be safe. But you know, here I go. I'm, you know, think I'm ready. I'm going to go push my awesome blog out into the world and I hit publish and then it stops me uh, because it definitely will check you on the required fields before you publish anything. Uh, so it's pointing out to me, hey, you're missing like basically the entire blog. Are you sure you want to do this? 
uh, you know, which is exactly what we want from required fields as writers. Uh, so this is, you know, one of the things that I'm most excited about in Wagtail 7. I definitely had to share this first. Uh, one other thing that's very great about this new edition is that um, this is a pretty big step towards adding autosave to a wagtail. Um, we're not committing to a timeline on that just yet, but I definitely hope that we have some exciting news to share with you guys later on. All right, so that's uh, one of the best things to report in Wagtail 7. Um, some other things you might notice, uh, which are really super handy. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this red a little bit. because I want to show y'all uh, one other small thing that we updated here. So even though that's not necessary anymore, I'm just going to go ahead and give it a little bit more. Uh, but so one great thing about Wagtail, uh, you can schedule blog posts ahead of time as well by going up here and setting a publishing schedule. So say I wanted this to set to publish um, on the 7th at 1700. I'm gonna go ahead and save that schedule. Um, so one thing you'll notice is that, you know, the button beforehand said publish, but now it says schedule to publish. And so in this release, we made a lot of little uh, UX improvements like that to make things a little bit easier for writers and content editors. Uh, I hope that you, as you're going through, uh, we changed a lot of small things around how locales are handled and things like that. So I hope as you go through uh, that you appreciate some of the changes we made to make things a little easier on you. Uh, if they do cause you grief, though, do let us know. We're always open to feedback. Uh, one other, one other big part of the UX that is really great. Um, let's go over to our image library to show you this. I recently cleaned out this imaging library, and I can say I my mouse fingers got so clicked out um, from having to click through all these images. And I wish that I had our new pagination feature uh, that's available in Wagtail 7 because it would have made my life so much easier. Uh, but we have it now, which is great. Uh, so, you know, if I, I, right now the images are organized from newest to oldest, but say I wanted to go to like the oldest images and start checking to see uh, whether there are some I should get rid of, uh, rather than having to click next 23 times to get to the last page, uh, we now have the option to leap straight to the last page and kind of jump around like that and find all the pages uh, that you need. So that was a, a great addition in this release and I'm so happy to see it. Uh, so that's kind of the biggest uh, feature changes in Wagtail to show you. Um, so those are the most visual ones. Uh, there's a lot of good changes that happened underneath for developers. I'm going to include a link to our release notes for people who really want to dig into the nitty gritty and find out uh, all the great little things that have changed underneath the hood. Uh, but if you are interested in giving Wagtail a go or giving it uh, more of a test run, I'm also going to link to our starter kit. It, this is uh, it up on GitHub. Uh, please give it a go. I think you'll really enjoy uh, building your own Wagtail website. You can have it up in as little as 15 minutes. And definitely let us know what you think of Wagtail 7.0.